Hi, it's John Kelly. In this module, we are going to discuss the amendments to IAS 1 that are part of the Disclosure Initiative. Now, the intention of this initiative is to reduce disclosure overload and to improve standards, and it is stated to be narrow in scope, so they're not trying to do too much. And it is the first of three parts. There are two more parts to this Disclosure Initiative to reduce disclosure overload. So in this module, we're going to look at it and see whether it worked or not. Is there going to be more or less work? Are accountants and financial statement preparers and auditors going to be exposed to criticism because they didn't provide enough disclosure? And the thing to remember, it's always simpler if there are five things, and I put that in quotes, five, six, seven, whatever the number is, if the standard says, these are the things you are required to disclose, and you can check it off and say you've done it. And the other thing that's happening is it's getting harder and harder to respond to quote-unquote user needs because the number of users being added on and considered to whom financial statements are supposed to be relevant and to contain all the information they want is ever increasing. So this is what was done. There were five major things taken and I have referred to the sections, the major sections that were amended. There were other sections amended as well, but these are the significant ones in my view. And the five things were to omit immaterial disclosure consider accounting policy disclosure, consider the ways of ordering notes, considering how to do subtotals, and considering aggregation and disaggregation. So the first was to include a requirement to omit immaterial disclosure, but paragraph 31 already said that, so that's not particularly a change. What was added was consider more disclosure if IFRS is not enough for users to understand. And so that, of course, is going to be more effort because we're going to at least have to consider whether the, I guess, minimum disclosure in IFRS is enough or not, and then consider more disclosure for users. And because it's so difficult to know what all the users might want, that's going to be more and more difficult. And because that's an open-ended requirement, we're open to possible criticism when some set of financial statements doesn't disclose something that some user wanted. Accounting policy disclosure. Now it is removed the mandatory disclosure of the accounting policies for deferred income taxes and foreign currency translation. And that makes sense because those are mandated. There is no choice in what you do. You follow professional standards. So there's no particular need for that. But it adds in, consider the nature of the operations and policies users expect to be disclosed. So if users expect the policy on deferred income taxes and foreign currency translation to be disclosed because they're there now, that will mean we can't take it away. And it may also mean that there are other things that users might want to have disclosed. So again, more effort, more disclosure, possible criticism. It's an open-ended requirement. Number three was consider different ways of ordering notes. Now notes are now normally ordered. You start with the first note on the balance sheet and it's note number one. Well, no. Um, counting policy notes, significant accounting policies, nature of operations, those are, and actually sometimes those are an unnumbered note at the beginning of the note. So the first note is in fact note number one. Um, and then no, note number two is the second note on the balance sheet and so on in order through the four major statements and then other notes are put in some sensible order at the end. New paragraph 114 has two other ways of ordering the notes. So now there are three possible ways of ordering notes that we'll have to consider. Now there's going to be no reduction in note disclosure, but we may have to do more work to reorder the notes in some different fashion that perhaps responds better to user needs. And again, possible criticism when different users would want the notes organized in a different fashion. 
Number four, there's more guidance on how to do subtotals, so that's more work and criticism if we haven't done the subtotals in the way users wanted. And finally, aggregation and disaggregation, and we are not supposed to reduce understandability by obscuring material information with immaterial information. Not quite exactly how we could obscure something very large with something tiny and insignificant, but never mind, that's an issue we're going to have to think about as we prepare financial statements. And we're not supposed to aggregate material items that have different natures or functions. So again, that's going to be more disclosure and more work effort as we try to decide whether things have different natures or functions. And again, it's open-ended, and so again, possible criticism. So in summary, there are the five things. We can see that three of them will probably require more disclosure. The third item will be no change in the amount of disclosure, but more work effort. And the subtotals, because they're requiring a few more subtotals, that will be a bit more work effort. In all cases, more work effort. And pretty much all of them are open-ended, and therefore pretty much all of them leave it open for some user somewhere with a slightly different set of needs than another user to complain that proper disclosure wasn't provided to them. So the conclusion is it did not reduce or simplify. And indeed, when I first read the standard, I went, well, this is going to just extend disclosure and increase disclosure overload. So I was surprised when I read that the stated intention was to do the opposite. Didn't seem to work. And it was supposed to be narrow in scope, but we can see that it in four of five cases probably added disclosure. And there are two more standards on the way to reduce disclosure overload. And if they work the same way that this one did, um, I guess we sh should expect that there will be more disclosure. So, thanks for listening.